And welcome to another exciting episode of Kentucky Brew Review. Brew Hall? Beer and booze Beer. pickups. There we go. That's what we're doing. Beer and booze doing. pickups. Uh, there's no echo in here, man. It's, it's quite nice. I know. Uh, you guys got to excuse our really shitty background right now because uh, we're still we're in the new studio. Um, we're kind of trying to shoot a bunch of videos. It's about to get finished. So you'll see quite a few videos with this white, weird background. It's all we have. So it's going to be like that for a little bit. You know, just hang, hang with us for a bit. So we're going to start out with the biggest thing you guys probably see on the table. Steel, what do we got there? We've got the Coors Seltzers with a mission. One pack restores 500 gallons, restoring our rivers. Proudly made in Texas. So. Which, when you think Coors, you don't think Texas. That's true. You think Colorado. Exactly. But they come in four different flavors. Black cherry, lime, mango, and grapefruit. Pretty standard. Pretty standard. Pretty standard, yeah. Yeah. All right. I'm going to go with uh, a beer. Give me one. We have... Urban Artifact, the gadget. This is a raspberry and blackberry Midwest fruit tart. Yummy, yummy. It is, it says serve at 42 degrees and is an ABV that I don't see. But it does say it has 1,200 black, 1,200 pounds of blackberries and 1,200 pounds of black uh, raspberries and 30 grams of vanilla beans in every batch. Hmm. Hmm, nice. Over here, I've got Founders Oktoberfest. Oh yeah, it's that time of the year. It is German style Miz Marzen, you know. Let's see, six percent by volume, twenty IBUs. So it's going pretty pretty good. Uh, I have Rogue Marion Berry Sour. It is a pint, a sour made with Marion berries. They sort of look like blackberries to me. Uh, sure. It says it's. Very fruity and pretty tart. All right, I've got Blake's Hard Cider Company's Grizzly Pear, made with pears, not bears. And I grabbed it because I saw the name Grizzly Pear, and it had a bear claw. I was like, well, obviously that's why we're getting it. Uh, we have another Urban Artifact beer with Spyglass. This is a lemon lime tart. That sounds pretty good. Uh, it says serve this one at 38 degrees. Very specific on their. Uh, uh, this one has 66 uh, pounds of limes and 50 pounds of lemons in each batch. Not quite as much as the other one. 125 calories per can. Oh, 4.7% alcohol. And the pH is 3.5 if you need to know the pH for some reason. Because it's a pool. Yeah. Alright, next that we have interesting. Sweet Waters. As long as there's water. Berliner. Berliner. Yeah. Berliner. Weiss, with uh, I can't even, I don't Akai. Akai. Or Asai. I, Asai. I, I don't normally pronounce it, so, you know. But yeah, this is 4.8% uh, alcohol by volume. It looks good. It sounds good. Uh, it looks like a seltzer almost, so you pick it up. Yeah. Last one we have is another urban artifact. We have Photo Poof. Photo Poof. Photo Poof. Photo Poof. Uh, it is Grapefruit Ghost, 12% uh, alcohol by, uh, sorry, 12, 12 ounces. God, we haven't even drank yet. Um, uh, it is 4.3% alcohol by volume and pH is 3.4. Because you need to know that. All right, Steel, just going to grab something. Oh, oh, we know what that's for. Uh, it's a big bottle of our blue stuff. That's for a live stream. We yeah, should probably actually review it at some point. Maybe. Uh, this is iced coffee. That's just the brand called iced. Um... It's sort of like, it looks like a dairy liqueur. I picked it up from, my, from Mrs. K. 12.5% uh, alcohol by volume. She likes coffee beverages. I figured Mrs. K would probably like that. Yeah. All right, we've got Deep Eddie Cranberry. That looks pretty good. I like the color. It is a nice color. Uh, made with real cranberries. Handcrafted in small batches. We, we yeah. had the lemon and it was delicious. Uh, the lemon one. What do I have here? Ah, oh, I'll let you do that. Oh, all right. I'll grab, I'll grab it. Uh, Chrysan coconut rum. This is for Mrs. K, but we're going to actually review it. I just... She wanted coconut rum. So. so. This is plum fukai. And it is a plum sake. And I already know how it tastes. We've been on a sake kick lately. It's delicious. Did you think we were done with beer? We were not. 
This is our going to be our only pumpkin beer for the year. We do our annual one, a year. one pumpkin beer review a year. This is Elysian uh, Pumpkin Chino, coffee pumpkin ale. Fun fact: the last uh, pumpkin beer we did last year was also an Elysian beer, and it was actually good. So I was like, why not? Let's do another one. All right, still. Uh, what do we got left? We still got plenty of stuff left. Oh well, I don't know why we bought that, but we did. Uh, you said we needed another... Yeah, people were asking for Malibu products. And so you told us to choose between one, and I said banana. Malibu banana. So, banana. Uh, oh, more, more uh, fodder for live streams. We have Mr. Stack's raspberry liqueur. Mm-hmm. Still, oh, so two more left. Sorry. Right. And that's, that's the actual color of it. Yeah, it's very dark, actually. It it's is. almost like a, I don't know, it's like a really dark cherry syrup or something. And then we got Captain Morgan, because apparently we haven't reviewed it yet. Somehow. Somehow. Yeah, we had a bunch of people asking about it. Last thing we have in here, we're going through this kind of fast. We went a little crazy on the schnapps this time with that butterscotch. Now, it was between butterscotch and peppermint. I was to, trying to decide on how to destroy people's souls when we were doing shots. And I shouted for butterscotch. Butterscotch is probably slightly better than peppermint for sure. Peppermint snaps just sounds like something you would have as a kid when you had nothing else and you just found alcohol. Nope. Like, oh, we're losing the flag. Oh, no. It's fine. We'll fix it in a minute. You're fine, uh, fuzzy. But, but yeah. Uh, so this is our pickups. You'll see these reviews um, over the next month or so. There'll be other stuff going up uh, in addition to this stuff. We have some other stuff in the fridge. Um, but if you guys have any comments or something you'd like to see on the channel, uh, let us know in the comments down below. I'm Special K. I'm Still Reserved. Thanks for watching.